Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on Django signals so it's just going to be kind of an introductory video should I say so I know I haven't been uploading in a few weeks so apologies for that it's just been quite busy on my side but I'm back again to the videos so in any case let's go ahead and get started all right, so I will be sure to reference the documentation here from Django side on signals, but just to give you a bit of a clean um, summary here on Django signals. Now, if you were to integrate signals in your Django applications, it's going to let your Django app run custom code when certain actions happen. Now, this can be when a model is saved or deleted. So for example, you might want to send an email every time a new blog is created or something of the sort. So that's generally how you would go on ahead and utilize signals. Okay. So as you can see, I have a simple Django project up and running here. Very simple, very easy. So make sure that you have that to start off with. So make sure you've just created a new Django project from scratch. Then we just want to create a Django app. We're then going to create a model, create a signal based on that model, and then connect the signal in our apps.py file, and then make the migrations and testing. So let's first of all, start this simply by creating an app. So we can just stop our server. And we can just say Python manage.py start app. And I'm just going to call this, let's say CR app, very simple. Okay, then I just want to register this app. So I'll go to my project called elevate, go to settings.py. We can scroll down to the list of installed apps. And we can add in CRM, which is the app that we just went on ahead and set up. All right, so make sure you've done that. And what I always like to do for clarity is just run my server after that. Okay, and just make sure everything's okay. And it is perfect. Next, we want to create a model in our recently created app called CRM. So let's go to CRM, let's go to our models.py file. And I'm just going to create a very sample app here, very simple. So I'm going to define a simple article model. So I'm going to say class article. Then we're going to say models dot model to ensure we create this custom model. Then I want to define two attributes or a field. So I'll say title would be the one and it's going to be a char field. And I'll set the max length here to let's say 100. Then content. So I'll say models dot text field here so I can allow a lot more. So this is a large text field for the article content. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to say def double underscore string. So I'll add like a method here of sorts. And this is going to make the article instances show up by title in the admin or the shell, for example. And you can just say return self dot title and make sure that mirrors what we went on ahead and set up right here. Okay. So we have that model set up. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to create a signal. So we'll do this in the same app that we created called CRM. So you want to right click on CRM, say new file, and you can call this signals.py, just like that. All right, so let's get started. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to import the signal that fires after saving our model. So when we're making a change, so we can say from django.db.models.signals import post save. Then we want to import the decorator to register the signal handler. So we can say from Django.dispatch import receiver after which we want to import our article model so that we can listen for saves to it so we can look here and we can see it's called article so you can just say from dot models import article oh there we go great now what we're going to do is we're going to go on ahead and define our function here so i'm going to say def article created. So we're going to listen for all the articles that have been created. And above that, we want to add that decorator that we imported here called receiver. And within that, we're going to go on ahead and pass through 
post underscore save. And we're going to set sender equals to article, which is the model that we imported here. Now, what we're doing here is we're using the receiver decorator to connect this function called article created to the post save signal of article. Then within our parentheses here, we want to pass through, of course, sender. And we're gonna pass through our instance. And we could also go ahead and pass through created and quarks. Okay. Now within that function, what we want to do is we want to ensure that this function is gonna run every time an article object is saved. Now created is gonna be true only the first time the object is saved. So in other words, when it has been created. So I'm gonna say if created, I want to just say print, and this is going to be in the terminal. I'm going to go on ahead and say new article created. Okay, and then what we can also do is just add in a placeholder of sorts. So we can set this up as an F string. So I'll just say F, and then here we can just put in and pass through instance dot title. So essentially we're getting the instance here of our model article and we're getting the title which has been defined here so that we can see that in our terminal itself. Okay. So that is how we can define a base signal. Now I do want to go deeper into what we are utilizing here, such as the parameters that we add here to article created. So let's go on ahead and go over that. All right, so let's take a look. So we have sender, instance, created, and then double asterisk quark. So with sender here, okay, this is going to pertain to the model class that sent the signal. In our case, this is going to be article. Then of course we have instance. This is the actual instance of our article that was just saved. Then we have created. So this is essentially going to be just a very simple Boolean value for true if the object was created and not just updated. And then we have quarks here and this is necessary for any extra keyword arguments. Okay. Okay. So it's not used here, but Django of course includes them. Now overall here is what we are trying to do is this function is going to check if our article was created and then it's going to go on ahead and print its title and this is um, what we're doing here by saying instance of title we're referencing that object's attribute in terms of its title. Okay so that is essentially what we are doing there. Now I do also want to go deeper into what we've defined earlier just to give you some extra contents. Now with the first line, so we are importing the post save signal and this is triggered after a model is saved to our database. Okay. Then with the receiver here, the receiver decorator, that's going to connect our function to a specific signal. And that is essentially what we are doing right here. All right. So there we have it. Now the next thing we can go on ahead and do is we can go on ahead and connect the signal in our apps.py file. So if we were to open up CRM, we can see we have apps.py. Okay, and this is fine as is. All you want to do is you want to go on ahead and define a method here. And that is going to be, we can just say def ready, for example, self. And then you just want to say import crm.signals. All right, now this method is essentially ran when the app is ready. And this is very good for connecting our signals. And essentially what we're doing here is we're importing our signals module. So the signal handler is registered and that is pertaining to this file here. So we're just essentially ensuring that it's up to par and that it will be registered so we can actually invoke it. All right, so we set up our app. Now we can just make our default migrations and migrate everything to the database. And then we can test this out in the shell as a simple test. Okay, so let's do just that. So I just want to go back to signals and I think we just need to make sure we add in a colon at the end. There we go. So just make sure you make that adjustment. There we go. So now let's just say Python manage.py make migrations. And we can say manage migrate. There we go. 
Right, and what I also want to do is I'm going to test this in the admin as well by creating an article, not just in the shell, just to give you some clarity. So if we go to admin.py, I want to register that model. So I'll say from dot models, pull article, and we can just say admin.site.register article. And that's this here. Okay. Now we can also create our super user in the meantime. So let's do that. So Python manage dot py create super user. I'm going to say admin 101, turn a password. And clear. All right, so we're good to go. Now let's go ahead and do the test now and see if the signal has been created. So we're just going to enter the shell. All right, so what we can do is say Python manage dot py and we can just say shell okay let's do that okay now we want to go on ahead and reference our article model so i can say from crm that's my app dot model so from the models dot py file in the crm app i want to import article then I can go ahead and create a new article instance, and this is going to trigger the signal. And let's do that. So I'm going to say article now dot objects dot create. And this is just going to take title, which is one of the attributes or fields. And I'm going to call this my um, Python article, comma, and then content. I'm just going to say, um OO programming. And then we can close that up. Press enter. And then we can see the output new article created, my Python article. And that is an indication here with this output that our signal was created to say, okay, this was created and set up, and that pertains to what we have set up here in signals.py. We've created, we print this in the terminal, and we can see that was sent and received accordingly as it should have been. Now we can also view this if we were to go on ahead and access our Django admin as well. So let's do that. So let's go straight there. Okay, so we can go straight to Django admin. We just need to say exit first. Clear this up and run our server. Okay, let's go to the admin. And you just want to enter in your credentials. All right, so let's log in now. Okay, we can see here in our logs here. So, okay, we're still good. Let's go to articles. We can create an article now. So I'm going to say title, my Java article, data structures. Okay, let's go to our terminal and we can see that signal was also sent here to go on ahead and add in that new article as well. When we went on ahead and interacted directly with the Django admin itself to go ahead and create this instance. And there we can see it. Now, the whole idea was what we have set up now just to clarify. So our Django signal now is now listening for new article posts and reacting when they're created. Now, of course, like I mentioned, it can be very useful if you want to integrate this for an email notification system or something of the sort. But this is how you can set up a very simple Django signal and set it up accordingly here. So just to re-emphasize, post save runs after our model is created. The signal is only going to print when created here is true, meaning it's a new object. And essentially here in our apps.py file, we needed to import our signal in the apps ready method that we defined here, or it's not going to run. So this signal is not going to be triggered unless you define this accordingly in your app, in your apps.py. Okay. So that is how you can go on ahead and set up Django signals within your application. So remember custom code to ensure that it is ran when certain actions are performed. All right guys, so that's it on this video tutorial. As always, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time, goodbye.